Hi, Sagittarius. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. This is your reading for August 14th through the 21st. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I will like provide readings. They are on a discount sale this month. All the information is below, 20% off through August 31st. Um, please become a member. Um, please subscribe. You know, the usual. What's the message? I got the message? I just went outside. I go outside between readings. And yeah, it's really like this energy of have confidence, like trust yourself. That's the energy. And you know, so there was this fly flying around me. And I don't know how else to say it. Like, I, I Sometimes in New York, I used to be surrounded by birds. It used to happen to me a lot, right? And here, um, I don't know. It's sort of like nature just comes up to greet me a lot. It's kind of weird. So like yesterday, like all these dragonflies float around me and uh, like wasps. And it's like, I don't know. I feel like um, there are messages out there and... Like, like, trust yourself, trust your, um, your intuition, trust your, um, trust what comes up in front of you. I don't know what else to say. All right. I wish the light were better. I'm going to try to turn on the overhead light, but I don't think it's going to make a difference. Uh, and I, you know, also when I watch these videos, when I'm watching myself, it always seems darker than when I put them up online. It's like, the lighting is fine, Jeffrey. So, okay, it's, it's the rainy season here, so it's a little bit, you know, overcast, a little bit, partly cloudy. But I don't think it's going to rain tonight, which is good. Because, you know, sometimes it like starts raining at five, and it's like, it ain't going to stop, and it can really come down. It's like, I ain't going to help. Two, three. Okay. Funny, I got a bunny again. There's a, they were cleaning my room and uh, I had to go to the bathroom. And I um, went to the bathroom downstairs. There's not much art here, I have to say. They really need some art in these rooms. But downstairs, my bathroom is a bunny. And uh, so I have three cards here and I have the Queen of Pentacles and there's a little bunny. Fertility. So I think that's, so we start with the devil. So the devil's a false path and the, you know, the devil is sometimes being in the dark and it's like, and I had a similar message for Leo, which is sort of this energy of telling yourself, uh, I'm not fertile, right? Telling yourself, uh, I have no new ideas telling yourself, like, I feel like that's the energy that needs to um, be brought out into the light in order for it to be transformed somehow. This energy of, um, it's it's a very similar message to Leo, we'll see what happens. Of, of this lie, we, we tell ourselves so that I feel like you're telling yourself or have told yourself of like, I don't have any new ideas. I don't, I don't, um, I don't know how to take care of myself. I'm going to show you the cards. Boom, boom, boom. You know, like, I don't know how to take care of myself. Uh, you know, I'm always a newbie. I, you know, uh, I don't have any artistic talent. I don't, I don't have any creativity. I don't know how to take care of myself. And I feel like it's a lie that needs to be brought to the light. Okay. Yep. So this is what I've been doing in order to become, in order to like be in touch more with like this particular gift, right? And um, so this is what I've been doing. So 
So I write down on the top of the page, angels, and then I ask a question. And then whatever comes, I just go with it. So, you know, today, uh, what is the next right action? Because I had a lot of things I had to do today, like a lot. And um, like I couldn't make up my mind, which is more important, which would be most benefit, beneficial. You know, everything needs to get done. Everything will get done in due time. But it's like, you know, sometimes you have so many things in front of you. And it's like, what's more important here? What's the priority? So it says you do the video. So I'm doing the videos. Um, and that's part of the process that I'm in of really listening and following the directions as opposed to what I should do or what everybody expects me to do or what the easiest thing is to do. Or it's like, no, I'll just follow. So I think that's part of the energy. Because that will lead to a clear path and a new opportunity. Yeah, and the time is now. And it's my second queen. So queens are about patience, you know, and knowing, like, let's say you're trying to learn a new skill and you get impatient with yourself. It's like, you just got to keep on going back. You just got to keep on going back. You got to keep on going back. You know, until you develop the skill. And I know it's challenging, and I know it can be frustrating, and I know it can bring up anger, it can bring up fear, and it can bring up a lot of things that are unpleasant. And it's like, okay, I'm feeling this unpleasant feeling, but it's not going to last forever. Yep, work away at it work the way at it. And I think the thing to that one, I think the thing that you're being offered is this this energy of, I think it's a lie you've been telling yourself or something in the door. It's like, I don't know how to take care of myself. I don't know how to take care of my finances. I don't know how to be secure. I don't know how to be free. I don't know how to be creative. And I think that's what is going on subconsciously. And I think that's what needs to be brought into the light so that you can, you know, how do they say it? Tell the truth and shame the devil sort of thing. Yeah, going to a new place in your head. This is interesting too, because I always feel like with this card, like that is, uh, that's a matriarchal, that's an energy of like a, like a, a female ancestor. And it could be, I always feel like they're passed on. It always feels to me like, you know, your deceased mother or grandmother. But it could also be really calling in like one of the goddesses, you know, one of the energies of one of the goddesses, you know. Um, so, you know, do your homework, look them up, see who the one is that you really relate to, right? It could be Isis, it could be Venus, it could be Lakshmi, it could be, um, right, uh, Diana, Arda, you know, uh, Athena. So they all have different energies, Demeter, and and see. Ask for her strength, ask for her wisdom. Read the stories. You know, there's a lot there. There's really a lot there. Yeah, a new way of thinking is coming through. And I I also like in relation to this reading and just a lot lately, I always feel like so this he's a bit of a tyrant, and. I think, you know, usually the tyrants in our lives are ourselves. Usually the biggest tyrant in my, in my experience, the, the biggest tyrant in a person's life is not their father or their boss or their mother or their, you know, it's yourself. Yeah, new messages coming through. Wow, this is going to change everything. Sometimes, you know, when we see ourselves in a different light, and when we see, I think this tower does need to come down. I think it's the tower that you built that you sort of isolated yourself in. I think that's what's going on. You know, it's like we keep on telling ourselves, oh, I, I, I can't learn a new skill at this age, or I can't. 
I don't know how to take care of myself. I always need others to take care of me, of course. Um, and I think it's a lie that needs to come to the light. That sort of feels like. Yeah, and then I'll have confidence. This card has come up for everyone so far. That's interesting. This is about moving forward, executing a plan. And it's also, you know, it's energy of use. There's a real energy of use in this one. And there's an energy of like exploration, of um, taking a chance, doing something new. And it's like, what, what keeps him going is his own self-confidence. That's what keeps him going. It's like, oh yeah, I know what's going to happen, you know. And, and yeah, I think sometimes you know you meet somebody you know young, and they have this this goal and this dream, and you know it's easy to sit back and think to yourself, oh well, you'll you'll be disappointed, and you know life is full of bumps and this and that. Okay, that's fine, but take on that energy of i can do it it's going to happen you know because i have my goal in mind and no matter how many bumps i have to go over on the road i'm still going to get to my destination instead of like sitting and judging that energy it's like take it on and run with it right confidently it's about confidence and pay attention to your intuition pay attention because you know what's interesting I feel like it, unless you like shame this devil and bring it out into the light, you're just going to be sitting still. You're just going to be sitting still. And, you know, the way through something is through it. The way through something is through it. That's the way through it. Right. So like now I have to, you know, there's a lot of new challenges and skills that I have to learn and, you know, I don't know, keep up with and, you know, develop and, you know, sometimes I ask for help, sometimes I take breaks, sometimes, but it's like, like the way I'm going to learn how to speak Spanish is to make a lot of mistakes, make a lot of mistakes. Like that's the way it's not like, it's not, I'm not just going to wake up one day and all of a sudden I fluently speak Spanish unless, I mean, look, I'm not, I'm open to a miracle, but sometimes we have to meet it's almost like you have to meet the, the, the our higher selves halfway. It's like you have to de demonstrate that you're willing. And then it comes. But not until I demonstrate that it's like I, I, I'm, I'm going to get on this road, even though like, I don't have the right outfit, even though like I didn't pack enough, even though I don't know where it's going, even though like, like get on the road. So that's what I'm getting for you. Blessings to you. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon.